This is 40650 Land Rover Classic Defender. I know I'm like a year late to this set, but I couldn't go without talking about it. I picked this set up during the May 1st LEGO releases just because I feel like I had a little too much Star Wars going on in the collection. First thing I can think of is that the Defender really looks a lot like it could integrate into a LEGO city. I know that pretty much every LEGO city vehicle doesn't have a make, it seems like they're all debranded entirely besides the odd Octan truck or other in-universe company here and there. It's just that the scale of this set plus the fact that it's actually part of the creator lineup and not speed champions just makes it sort of an interesting odd one out. I'm not entirely sure why LEGO decided not to make it a speed champion car instead, but my guess is because of licensing issues or maybe they didn't want to be associated with other car brands. Regardless, I still think it's cool that they were able to freshen up what they could do with LEGO cars with the Land Rover. The entire car is in a bright light orange, which is a color that I really don't have a lot of, especially not as a vehicle either. I was speaking about speed champions earlier, but at least one pro to it not being a speed champions car is that the set really only has one sticker and it's the grill of the Defender. The other two headlight pieces are just tiles with printing on them. I think that it's a little weird that they decided against printing the grill, but they were okay with printing the headlights on. It's probably because of the Land Rover branding that they weren't able to print it on. I remember reading somewhere on a LEGO form that the reason why most Speed Champion sets don't have dedicated printing is because of these car companies being able to revoke their license completely from LEGO and they wouldn't be able to legally sell or authorize replacements of parts. I think that's totally possible possible, but I'm unsure if that's actually the case though. Anyway, going back over to the set, I thought about storing some of the LEGO surfboards from my other sets on top of the Defender. It looks pretty good actually, I, I bet there's other things you could do like place a clip to attach a bike to the top maybe. There's only two things that I really think they could have improved, but it might mess with the scale a little bit. The seat being in the middle is a little weird, but that seems to be a common theme amongst all LEGO City sets anyway. I also just don't like the mirrors being clip pieces. Maybe they could have used a pearl stud or something to make that detail pop just a little bit more. But then again, those are pretty small things for a set that isn't a huge price commitment. So I can't really complain all that much. I'd say that if you're a fan of LEGO cars, I would definitely take a look at the set, but I wouldn't really expect as much detail as you would out of something more mid-range like Speed Champions with their double wide car options. It's one of those oddity sets because it doesn't really fit into any other kind of car sub theme anyway besides the generic creator line which really was known for their larger scale branded car options not usually in the play scale like this Defender. All of the creator cars before this have always been unbranded, concept vehicles that are original LEGO designs. I'm welcoming this change though, and I would definitely like to see LEGO do more branded car sets similar to this one. The LEGO City line could use a couple of branded sets here and there. It's only one tile plate away from being debranded too. Well, anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys in the next one.